So hi, hello and welcome again, my crop hunter here. Today I, have, I want to share with you a, a rather unusual specimen. You're looking at my beard. Yes, you heard correctly. These are beard clippings. I shaved myself using a razor and then I put the little pieces of hair uh, under the microscope and I found something quite unusual and maybe even a little bit surprising in, in the sample. Um, and uh, these are not the clippings themselves, but I found some microorganisms. I'm going to show uh, them to you later and I also have an explanation how they actually got in there. Well uh, over here you can already see a few of them uh, <laughs> swimming around uh, in the sample. Um, you do not only see a lot of beard clippings, these are the dark uh, little patches that you see here after all I've got a black hair, uh, but you can of course also see a lot of skin cells. But this here is not a skin cell, this is actually the cross section of one of my hair and uh, you can see quite beautifully over here that uh, there are different layers uh, in the hair. So this is the cross section over here and you see that the center over here is a little bit uh, different uh, than the outside here and uh, because of the hair, the beard uh, was cut so thinly I had no problems actually mounting it on the slide um, because normally when you put hair under the microscope slide uh, you're actually seeing it only from the side and not actually yeah, uh, right, uh, right head on. So um, yeah, there are basically uh, different uh, colored um, hair um, obviously because uh, my hair is not only black, but I'm also uh, slowly starting to turn white and uh, gray. And uh, essentially, this is also what something I was able to observe here. And if you look carefully, there are also lots of bacteria floating around in the background. You see, that's basically one of the black uh, pieces uh, that I was able to cut off. And uh, a lot of skin cells are present as well. Um, these are the patches uh, that you see um, over here. And again, here you have uh, the different cross sections uh, of the hair. And here on the side, of course, yeah, the skin cells and look at all of those dots um, moving around these are all bacteria how in, the, how in the world did the bacteria get in there <laughs> yeah not only that uh, now i want to show you actually some other microorganisms that i found here isn't this a little bit strange how in the world did those find their way into the specimen sample well i have to tell you a little bit that uh, it does not surprise me and no they were probably not growing on my face but rather they started to reproduce and multiply i suppose that these were some kind of contaminants that they found their way into um, yeah the sample because what I've done is after I shaved myself I rinsed uh, the soap um, in a cup of water and then allowed it to stand for a few days for the pieces of beard to settle down to the bottom of the glass and uh, during this time I suppose that all of these microorganisms started to reproduce and to multiply. I don't want to think that actually <laughs> they were growing on my face well the bacteria probably but what in the world do all of those ciliates uh, do in there? Well I do suppose that this is indeed a, a, a contaminant that was probably introduced uh, that's my guess uh, over the ear and then it found an ideal place to reproduce and multiply despite uh, the soap and the foam <laughs> that was in the cup um, um, as well but all of the skin cells are of course a very nutritious uh, food source uh, for microorganisms and here um, again I'm going to pause this a little bit look at look at all of those uh, bacteria in the background yeah? um, they basically um, yeah, look, here's the arrow. Yeah, all of those little tiny dots that you see, there's all bacteria. And those bacteria are, of course, also an important food source for that what appears to be uh, some kind of ciliates that are now basically also floating around um, and swimming around in the sample, feeding on not only the bacteria, but also probably on the skin cells. Yeah, so you can see uh, that uh, nature uh, yeah, is very difficult uh, uh, to, uh, to resist uh, living things if they find a uh, place uh, to thrive and to reproduce, they will do that. Um, and very often, uh, yeah, you do not always know the source uh, for these microorganisms. But the one thing is certain, spontaneous generation, as it's called, does not exist. It's what the people thought back in the day, in the 18th or 19th century even, they thought that um, life and bacteria and microorganisms are able to emerge out of non-living material. But this is, of course, not, uh, not possible. And uh, I'm quite sure that uh, those cells that you see swimming around here um, probably were introduced uh, from the outside. Yeah, unless they were growing in my face, <laughs> but I kind of doubt that with the possible exception of the bacteria. Well, um, I think uh, I just uh, want to leave it at that. Uh, I just want to encourage you to put different uh, samples under the microscope and there's always something fascinating uh, to observe. All the best. Happy microbe hunting as always and uh, see you around next time. Bye bye.